Thanks, Jilly. You know, when you're born into a family of musicians, chances are pretty good you'll end up a musician as well. That's exactly what the case with our guest. We welcome Dominic Amato to our Glendale Jazz and Blues Festival. Dom, thanks for being here. Thank you very much, man. It's good to be here. It's cold, but it's nice being here. Yeah, we have never <laughs> experienced anything like this. Does this kind of weather change what you're going to do? You know what? Uh, maybe a little bit, but uh, we're not going to let it stop or affect us. We're going we're gonna to go for it. And if there's two people out there, we're going to play like it was 20,000, man. We're going to have fun, so it's all good. You started on the drums when you were about, I guess, two or three years old, we were talking about, and then you went to the saxophone. Yeah. Did your dad, I, I would assume, influence you then, that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, father's a wonderful saxophone player, and uh, grew up listening to him, and uh, just always loved the sound of, of the saxophone. He always had Grover Washington and uh, John Coltrane and everybody in, on in the house, so uh, big influences there for the sax, so I just felt kind of drawn to it. Those stars of the past, they really influenced you? Absolutely, big time, absolutely. Do you try to convey some kind of a message through your music to the audience? Absolutely, man. Uh, I think that on any given day, you never know who you're going to be playing for. And uh, it's the world it has a lot of great things going on, but there's also a lot of uh, crazy things in the world happening right now, and I want people to feel what we're doing. Uh, I want to convey a message of hope and, uh, you know, make people leave our shows feeling uplifted and, and uh, happy that they came. So, uh, you know, it's kind of like being a light in, in a dark place sometimes. So it's definitely something that I look forward to doing every show. You grew up in Detroit, uh, of course, Motown and R&B, huge in that area back in the day. Uh, did that influence you as well? Well, I can say that the uh, the sound of Motown music has definitely been an influential part of it. Uh, we grew up on the road a lot, uh, so I would say that the influence of the music is more of what I would say is, is definitely uh, played a big part in my musical, uh, what I do in composing music, R&B, Motown. Uh, it's definitely very much in me and ingrained in it, so yeah, absolutely. Now, do you incorporate different genres in your performances on a pretty regular basis? You know, we do. We do. I think that um, we kind of grew up in a, in a R&B, jazz, funk, soul, gospel background. And uh, so I would say that you'll hear tendencies of, of gospel, you know, R&B, sometimes even rock, which we might even throw in tonight uh, on some stuff. And, you know, I, I think mixing it up and keeping it eclectic is sometimes uh, why people like to watch you is because uh, it's something different. And, you know, you give them something that they, they may not have been expecting. I would think you would learn something almost every day or every performance. Always learning, man. I think that uh, in the music business, it never stops. I think uh, as long as you're committed to growing as a musician, as a performer, every performance is a learning a learning experience. I'll tell you, I'll be learning something today. It's, it's, uh, it's raining out there, so it, it's going to be an education. It's all good. Uh, Real quick, you've got, you played a couple other bands. You've started uh, Turning Point, you play with them, and then you've got you started another one called Static, right? Yeah, that's right. I joined Turning Point in 04, um, and uh, that band's been around for 15 years or so, and I've enjoyed playing with those guys. I started a band here uh, in Phoenix called Static, and we do mainly corporate stuff and casinos and uh, top 40 events, private parties. We do a lot of stuff for the NBA. Uh, we're the, the uh, house band for the Phoenix Suns, so we do quite a bit of stuff for that, um, and it's, it's a lot of fun. You are busy. Dominic, so. Avano, thanks for joining us yeah, here at Glendale Jazz Blues Festival. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you, man. All you right. It.